Hey guys, so today is going to be a video on this look. I did do this look a while ago and I wasn't sure if I liked it enough to even film it or do it again, but when I wore it out, I got a lot of compliments on it, so I was like, girl, I guess it's really cute, you know? So I decided to recreate it and this is what it came out to be. I love the eyes, I love the lips, um, and I hope you guys do too. And if you guys wanna see how I got this look, please continue watching. All right, so as you can see, I already got my brows and my eyes primed. Um, this is like kind of like my go-to fall look. So I've been doing it a lot. Okay, so here's a picture. It's like greenish, yellow, pink. First thing, I'm gonna go ahead and start off with my Farsali Rose Gold um, Beauty Oil. I love this for the winter. Oh my goodness, this is literally my holy grail because you know, the winter got your girl out here dry and flaky and it's not the bee's knees, honestly. So I just put it on my cheeks, my forehead, and my cupid's bow i was doing my nose too but i tend to get really oily on my nose so i kind of skip it now whatever i have left i just go ahead and put on my nose very lightly i'm just gonna go ahead and put this all over i tend to get really dry right up here on top of my brow and all right here i have so much dry patches right there like it's not okay so once i'm done with that i just go ahead take the flat side of my real techniques dry and just kind of pat that all in in a couple videos ago i did kind of review the farsali beauty oil and i was recommending not to use it if you're very oily because it is an oil and it could clog up your pores okay so to start off i'm gonna go ahead and take my modern renaissance palette taking my sonia kashuk brush and my transition shade i'm just gonna go ahead and take these two shades right here and this is going to be my transition shade so that's gonna go kind of up to my brow bone and if you've been on my channel for a while you already know i love to blow out my shadow so um i haven't been doing eyeliner lately so i just go ahead and blow out my shadow towards the brow tail okay so i know i haven't really been posting a lot on youtube and that's because in october i got a really bad cold and that cold literally like took my whole voice away i was not talking for about two days <sighs> it was really bad because i had literally no voice i was kind of scared at the second day i was like oh my god am i never gonna be able to talk again i'm gonna go ahead and take this morphe y19 brush and i'm going to the subculture palette i'm gonna go ahead and take this shade right here so yeah i was super sick didn't really have a voice and i couldn't really make any videos Whenever I get sick, I really don't like getting sick. I mean, I used to love getting sick because, because my voice would be gone and I just love that raspiness. But this time it was to the point where I couldn't really talk. And when I get sick, I get to the point where I'm just like in a funk and I cannot function at all. Like I can't put my eyeshadow on right. I couldn't do my brows right. I kept on redoing them. It was really bad. Um, I'm not sure if I told you, but I'm gonna go ahead and just put this on the crease and just focusing it right in the crease and blending it together with my transition shade as well. And if I wasn't in that funk, I would be making the videos, but literally I was in a funk and I just didn't wanna get ready. I didn't feel like getting ready, but now I'm better and I'm back. All right, so the same palette and I'm taking this Morphe M503 brush and I'm just gonna go ahead and dip right into the shade right here. This is more of a plum shade. I'm just gonna go ahead and pop that literally right on the outer corner, very lightly and I'm just keeping it on the outer corner, pressing very lightly. And I'm just gonna go ahead and blend out the outer corner and kind of bring it in to the inner corner just a little bit. Okay, now that I have all that on, I'm just gonna go ahead and do a half cut crease. So just taking my Maybelline Master Concealer, this is in Fair. And I'm gonna go ahead and take my concealer brush and I'm just starting on the inner corner. 
Okay, so for me, I literally just followed my crease. And now I'm gonna do the same thing to the other eye, starting in the inner corner. And I'm literally just following my crease. Okay, so now that I'm done with doing the cut crease, I'm not setting them. I'm gonna go ahead and take electric. I absolutely love, 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 love this shade. I love to just go ahead and put it on with my finger and then I'll go ahead and blend it with a little brush. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop that right on top of the concealer. Okay, so now I'm taking this little round brush. Um, it's from Clean Color and I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of clean it up a little bit and just and try to get places that I couldn't reach with my finger okay so I'm going back in to the subculture palette and I'm going to take this green shade right here and I'm taking that on a flat synthetic brush this is an Anastasia brush this one came with one of the palettes not too sure which one I'm gonna go ahead and put the green right on top of where the two shades meet and blend it together so as you can see with my technique I'm just kind of lightly 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 dabbing this brush right on top all right so without adding any more product I'm taking the morphe y19 brush and I'm gonna go ahead and blend the top part first I'm blending all this together even the outer corner all right so eyes are done I'm gonna go ahead and do my face now all right, so for my face, I'm taking my Milani 2-in-1 um, foundation. This is in shade Creamy Vanilla. Taking my Real Technique sponge wet, and I'm just going to go ahead and just do my foundation. All right, foundation is on, and I'm going to just go ahead and conceal under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, my forehead, chin, smile lines. All right, so now I'm just blending all that out. And yes, just to let you know, this is literally my everyday foundation routine. Um, this has been for quite some time. Well, actually, that's not the whole truth. I actually recently um, was looking at my old videos and I was like, oh, I like that technique. It's so crazy because I would just like stick with one thing and not really change a lot. I recently just kind of been changing my foundation routine, but this has been stuck to me for quite some time. The Milani um, foundation. I absolutely love it so much. Literally, it's the best because literally full coverage lasts all day, all day long and it works well with other products and that's what I really care about. All right, concealer is done. Before any creasage happens, I'm gonna go ahead and take my airspun powder. Taking my e.l.f. brush. This is a dome brush. I love it for under my eyes. So I put that right on top and of course I don't like to rub or you know swipe or anything. I just love to pat. So my chin, my smile lines, literally everywhere where I concealed the bridge of my nose, the sides of my nose too because literally my nose is very oily. So my forehead, around my brows, then whatever product is left on my face, I like to take this Sonia Kashuk brush. This is in number one. Love it. So big, so fluffy, perfect for um, powdering the face. So with whatever powder is left, I just like to go ahead and pat that all over my face. And with my concealer and the powder, I did um, clean up my eyeshadows. So it's like... Shh. Taking this fluffy angled brush, um, I love this for my contour. I use these two shades, as you can tell, I already hit the pan. So I'm gonna just go ahead and put this right on top of my um, cheekbone so I can look very contoured. On my jaw, I'm kind of bringing it back, like towards my neck. Then I like to put that right on my nose as well, like contour my nose. Contour my forehead because 
my forehead is big so so now using my dome powder brush and I'm gonna go ahead and cut my contour so now for the blush um, my mom was actually getting rid of a lot of her makeup so I was going through it I was like let me see what I can grab and I seen this and it was so pretty this is this urban decay it's called score look how pretty this shade is and I usually don't tend to like shimmery blushes this one was calling my name and I popped it on and I was like girl I love it girl girl okay so now for highlight I'm taking my Laura Geller brush and I love this brush for highlight because it's a double-sided brush one is a smaller side and one is more of a fluffier side so for my highlight today I'm taking my Laura Geller highlight this is in ballerina before I do this actually so I like to spray my face first with this um, Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe cucumber and green tea so good my one of my closest friends she put me on that she's like girl you need to try this and she put it on one day and it smelled really nice and i fell in love okay so now i'm just gonna go ahead and press the highlight right on top of my cheekbones i'm gonna go ahead and take my ride or die carly bible palette the deluxe edition i'm gonna go ahead and take this icy white shade right here on the smaller side of my brush and i'm gonna go ahead and put that right on the tip of my nose here and right on my bridge cupid's bow so i kind of want more of a highlight i'm gonna go ahead and take this gold shade right here and i'm gonna pop that right on my cheekbones you can see it already this always gives me the perfect like that glow you know so then i'm gonna go ahead and take this shade right here it's kind of like um an icy lavender pink iridescent shade so i'm gonna just go ahead and take that and put that right in my inner corner the same gold shade i did for my cheeks i'm gonna go ahead and put right on the top of my brow bone okay so after i'm done with highlight i like to spray my face one more time okay so now i'm gonna go ahead and do my bottom lash line and I'm gonna go ahead and start off with Roxy, this sh pinky shade right here. So I'm gonna just go ahead and put that right on the bottom. Okay, so now that I have that shade down, I'm taking the same brush, and I don't even think I told you, it's the e.l.f. smudge brush. I dipped very lightly into the mauve shade, the purple shade, and I'm gonna put that literally right on top of my lashes, but just sticking to the outer corner. So then I'm taking this Sonia Kashuk brush in number 105. I absolutely love this brush. Taking the green shade, and I'm gonna just go ahead and put that. Oh my god, that was a lot. And I'm gonna just go ahead and put that on my lashes and wherever the purple ended I'm just gonna go ahead and put the rest going towards the inner corner of my eye Okay, so I'm taking the same Sonia Kesha little smudge brush and I'm taking um, Electric and I'm just gonna go ahead and pop that like by the inner corner I can literally physically see the eyeshadow inside my eyeballs. I popped on some lashes. Of course, there are Dell Wispies um, Black. And then I did my lips with my favorite combo, the Huda Beauty um, Liquid Matte Lipstick in Girlfriend. And then also this MAC um, Lipstick in Folio. Thanks. I don't ever wear matte lipsticks. But because I did top it off with a lipstick, it's not that matte. But I also love to put I also love to put a gloss as well. I love glosses. Like glosses are my everything. But honestly, this lip combo, it doesn't leave my lips dry. So this is my go-to fall look i absolutely love it it's not the, exactly the same as the picture but it's very similar it's a, that this is my go-to fall look also i do want to thank you guys so very freaking much about my xxx video is literally my most viewed video it literally makes me so happy that you guys love that video and you guys left a lot of comments on it and i just want to go ahead and thank you guys so very much for it because every single day i'm getting a new subscriber every day when i say a new subscribe when i say a new when I say a new subscriber every day, I literally mean I'm getting a new subscriber every day. Literally everybody's commenting on that video and it just makes me very happy because 
it's very sad how he passed and how sudden it was and it really makes not only me but it literally makes everybody that loved him so much very sad and I just want to say that I'm so happy that he's coming out with his album and to see all the love that it's getting and literally everybody that's recreating it it's it makes me really happy because I get a lot of DMs that people are sending me they're recreating it and that they're saying they want to recreate it and it just makes me really happy so thank you guys so much and I hope you guys enjoyed and hope to see you next time bye